We are getting closer and closer to the Boston Calling Music Festival. And the Morning Mix has been hosting some of the local acts that will be taking the stage. And today, we welcome Ward Hayden and the Outliers. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. Very good to have you in here. Let's start with Boston Calling. What was it like when you found out you're going to be part of what has become a really legendary music festival? We were thrilled. I mean, we've been wanting to play Boston Calling uh, pretty much since it began. And uh, we we're over the moon. We, we kind of were, we put out, we got crazy last year. We put out two albums in a year. Wow. Uh, any band out there, don't ever do that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's insane. Uh, but uh, it got us on the radar of Boston Calling, and we're, we're thr thrilled to be playing. And just wait until they hear you. You're going to be mm. on a lot Beautiful. more people's <laughs> radars. I heard a little bit while they were practicing, but no spoilers yet. We have some more questions. <laughs> um, tell us about your musical journey. How did you guys get together and say, hey, listen, we're going to make some beautiful music? How did that all go down? Uh, it, it, sort of fate, honestly. Uh, Josh and I have known each other uh, for well over a decade. Yeah, like uh, 15 years. Yeah. and We haven't played together that long, but we've known each other for like 15 years. It, in each other's orbit, uh, the stars aligned. We started playing, um, and then we we needed a bass player. We had met Greg in Northampton. Uh, he's actually originally from Brockton, Massachusetts. Hey, oh, nice. Met, now he lives out in Western Mass, and uh, his old band had opened for us. We met him. We stayed in touch. We needed a bass player. We called Greg, <laughs> and Sam is another guy who uh, he and I have just known each other for years and years yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, just the Boston music scene. Very cool. You're from Situate, and then you're saying you're, you're all kind of in this Massachusetts orbit. So how do you have such a country sound? What drew you to that <laughs> genre? Uh, very good question, uh, because we are true outliers uh, in that we are from Situate yeah. uh, and play country music. But I grew up in a country music household. It was my mother's music. As I got older, uh, the lyrics, the just the, the emotional... Uh, components of the song just started to to resonate more. Mm. Uh, I started borrowing her cassette tapes because uh, I had an absolute like just bad car. Uh, uh, shout out Ernie wasn't Bach. It wasn't a bad truck. The, the, uh, it was, wasn't a truck. It, it, it was <laughs> later a truck. But, but, but if, if Ernie Bach would like to hook me up with with a new, uh, better truck, I would take that. Come on uh, down. I, I, I just ended up with this terrible car that uh, the radio didn't work. I had nothing to listen to. I started borrowing her tapes. And uh, it changed the entire course of my life. It was, it, again, I think it was fate. Um, and it's, it, it's led me down a, a very uh, unexpected path, I would say. Listen, moms always play that integral role, even when they don't know it, right? So you're like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna borrow a couple of these tapes, and the next thing you know, you're making country music. We love it. You were in tour in Europe recently. Tell us a little bit about that. That was great. Uh, Europe, Scandinavia, they've been, it's been really, really good to go over there. Uh, I didn't travel a lot when I was a kid. Um, you know, I, I kind of never left my hometown of Situate until I got into my 20s. And uh, it's just been so nice to go over there just to meet different people, experience different cultures. Uh, and the reception has been really nice. I mean, uh, I think we've done three or four tours now since the world kind of came back. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got back from Spain and Sweden. Uh, we'll be home for the summer and then back to Norway, Sweden and Finland in the fall. Wow, Ooh. that's so cool. The Scandinavians dig you guys. Uh, <laughs> what bands are you looking forward to at Boston Calling? I'm interested in what each of you is most excited to see on that Boston Calling stage. Sam, what are you looking forward to seeing? Well... I'm probably going to come see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Childers? Tyler Childers, yeah, definitely. I was going to say, I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing the audience from the stage. Mm. That's going to be a really fun new experience, so I'm excited for that. I'm a huge Killers fan, and the last time I saw them was at Boston Calling, the last time they were here, so wow. I'm going to that. Well, I'm going to find my way to get to that. <laughs> They're on a different day than You'll us, watch but, them while you're playing from get there. the side. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, my God, this has gone by way too fast. Ward Hayden and Outliers, thank you so much for joining us. Now we're even more excited to be able to see you perform.